hello there everyone. Welcome back to another video. We're talking about one of my favorite guitars in the world, Les Pauls. Now this is my personal Les Paul, whose name is Indy. It is a uh, 1979 Les Paul KM. I get a lot of questions about this. I actually did a video on this guitar, separate video, I'll link that down below. But for the song you guys heard in the beginning, I was playing my Les Paul, it was all the guitar tracks for Les Paul, into the Friedman BE50 Deluxe, and then I had some reverb, and delay going on, and then the little chorusy part was actually added in post. Let's talk about Les Pauls. What makes them so special? There, there's there's so much about a Les Paul that I think is unique. Obviously, it's body design, all that kind of stuff. It's one of the like OG, you know, rock and roll machines. You know, when you hear a Les Paul is just so big sounding. Let's just kind of kick it off, you know. And I'm sure you guys have some things down below that you can put, you know, what else, you know, makes a Les Paul special? Because one of the big things that I think that makes it so special is when you find a good one, and this could probably go with any guitar, but Les Paul is, in particular for me, when you find a good one that you really connect with, it's just like, boom, match made in heaven. It's, you know, you're just like bonded to it. And that's the way it was for this one for me. I had tried, I, I wanted to like Les Pauls. I wanted to play them. I just couldn't find the right one uh, until I played this one. And then I was just like, oh, I have to have it. You know, there was there was no way around it. And it's it's been amazing. You know, it's one of the guitars I always reach for, uh, especially for writing riffs. I've always said this is a riff machine. And I, I just, I love it. And, there, and there's such like a connection for me with this guitar. It's certainly a, a very special guitar that I'm, you know, feel fortunate to get to own. And uh, I just love playing it. So I think that's one of the things that make them make them special is, you know, you, you have to find the right one. And again, just coming from a person who's a Strat guy, I can kind of pick up any Strat and I'm just kind of like, okay, yeah, it's Strat, it's cool. You know, and I'm just content. You know, I'm not as picky with Strats and Tellies, but with Les Pauls, I've always been way more kind of like, oh, I like that one. It, you know, it, it's not my favorite until I've, there's been like three or four that I've ever played and I've just been like, yo, that one, that it, it isn't it weird how you kind of connect with different instruments, but that's the first thing I can think of. All right, on to the next thing. And one thing, check that out. When I was recording that song, all those bends murdered my fingers. They are so sore and tender right now from those bends. You can see the calluses are all peeled off. And I snapped the high E string. I don't know if you can see that, but it like sliced my finger right there. So, you know, guitar is dangerous. But the second thing is the way you have to play a Les Paul, which kind of ties into my fingers hurting and all that stuff, is all the Les Pauls I've ever played, they're not the easiest guitar in the world to play. But that's not a bad thing, you know, necessarily. I think it makes you play a certain way. like. It makes me grit my teeth and I'm just like, all right, you know. It makes you, you know, go full stank face and you're just ready to, to play some riffs and just really feel it, you know. Uh, that definitely one thing that I think uh, Les Pauls in general have is, like I said, that connection kind of thing. It makes you work for the notes, it's, you know. It's, it's not just giving you, it's not a free pass to shred your face off. If anything, for me, a Les Paul is not a shreddy guitar at all. Um, it makes me play differently, which is another thing why I like them. But... It, 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 you know, it makes you work for it. And and, and, it, and when, it, it just kind of like pushes you, I think, to be better. And whenever you work extra hard at those notes, you really get the end result that you want. And uh, I think that's just another thing about a Les Paul. It, it makes you earn the notes, you know? And uh, I post a thing on Instagram where I was playing Les Paul. I was like, you know, you don't play a Les Paul, you fight with it. And, 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 and that's a good thing. You know, it sounds weird, but I don't know, it makes you just wanna just grab the guitar, shake it, and just, you know, get mad at it. My fingers are hurting. So the next thing about a Les Paul is they are as simple or as complicated as you wanna make them. There is a ton of tonal varieties that you can do on here, obviously with two different volumes, three different pickup combinations, and uh, your tone knobs. Now, my volume knobs are actually broken. It's either all the way off or all the way off. 
So uh, one day I'll get it fixed. I just, it, like I said, going back to the kind of like Bond thing, I, I never want to be without this guitar. So I've never taken it in to get fixed. I was like, as long as they're working, I'll just play it wide open all the time. And I kind of mess with the tone knobs a little bit to get some different sounds. But overall, you know, there, it can be, like I said, as simple or as complicated as you want. For me, I play it very simply. You know, I'm playing my, either my bridge pickup and, and just kind of rocking out with that. Or I play the neck pickup. That's the thing, I approach it very simply. But like I said, you can manipulate your tones and all this kind of stuff to where uh, if you're playing it, you know, say I'm on the bridge pickup. Now this is wide open. I actually prefer this bridge pickup. Uh, these are Gibson T-top pickups. Roll down a little bit. Here, like, it just makes it thick, you know? So here, wide open. Who knows if YouTube's gonna translate this well. I feel the difference for sure when I'm playing. <laughs> and so on. But that thing, so I, and I can roll it all the way down. Fuzzy kind of sound. Add a little more distortion. So that's it all the way down. You know, roll it down a little bit. Uh, you have your in-between pickup, which is like your your Jimmy Page sound. Uh, essentially, oh, gotta get my neck pickup out here. That's what I did for that beginning. And the final thing is that a Les Paul just sounds big. You know, I've never played a Les Paul. Uh, you know, maybe someone else has, but personally, I've never played a Les Paul that sounded small. You know, they all sound, they just have this big, you know, fat sound about them. It's, it's crazy, but they, they mix so well with like a Strat or a Tele. It's just, they're the missing component to that super thick fat sound. And, and that's, I think what makes Les Pauls, you know, I've always said that I think of tones in terms of guitars, not so much effects. So when I'm recording, I'm, I think I'm like, oh, that I need like a, a Tele. I want the brightness of a Tele. I want the brightness of a Strat or a Super Strat or something like that. Or I'm like, oh, I was like, you know what's on good there? The Les Paul. That'll really thicken that part up a lot. And it always does. And like I said, I've always just found Les Pauls. I think it's because, you know, it's just a big old slab of mahogany. Uh, mine has a maple neck on it, so I think that's why it's a little bit more snappy. Uh, maple maple top, and then you got your pickups, and I don't know, man. It's just a, it's just a big old thicker than a Snickers sounding guitar. So that's it, guys. Let me know down below what you think makes a Les Paul so special. Maybe you have a special Les Paul that means a lot to you, uh, just like Indy means a lot to me. But let me know down below in the comments, and uh, yo, I think I might do one of these videos for Tele, Strat, Super Strat, you know, we'll do the whole gamut. So, till next time, homies, keep on rocking. I will see you all on the flippity-flop later. Guitar High Five out of here. Bye!